Okay, in this video, we are doing number six from the 2023 AP Calculus BC exam. It is obviously the series problem. Let's take a look. Uh, the function f has derivatives of all orders for all real numbers. It is known that f of zero is two, f prime of zero is three, f double prime gets interesting. It's negative f of x squared, and f triple prime is negative two x times f prime of x squared. Okay, part a, we gotta find the fourth derivative then write the fourth degree Taylor polynomial to f at x equals zero, and we wanna show the work. All right, so step one is we gotta find the fourth derivative, but luckily we already know the third derivative. So our fourth derivative is just gonna be a product rule. So we're gonna do first, which is two x. Derivative of the second is gonna be f double prime of x squared times two x by the chain rule, plus the second, which is f prime of x squared times derivative of the first, which is just negative two. We have to evaluate this thing at zero. So the fourth derivative at zero, what's really nice is that first uh, product has, um, has x's in it. So you're just gonna get zero for that. So all that's left over is f prime of zero times negative two. f prime of zero is given, it's three. So this is just three times negative two, which is negative six. So now we know the fourth derivative. Let's try to write this polynomial. So f of x is gonna be approximately some people like to use p sub four for the fourth degree polynomial. That's okay also. I don't think it really matters which notation we choose here. Uh, it's gonna be the value of the function, which is two. Now it's the first or plus the first derivative, which is three over one factorial, x minus zero to the first. So I like to write this all out. Um, now we need the value of the second derivative. Turns out we don't have the value of the second derivative. So we're gonna have to figure that out. The second derivative um, is going to be the negative of f of zero, so that's going to be negative two. All right, so it's plus negative two, or just minus two, over two factorial, x minus zero to the second. Now it's plus the third derivative, which it turns out we also don't have, but that one's a little easier, because the third derivative at zero is just going to be zero, because it's negative two times zero times f prime of zero, but just zero. So uh, we get no x cubed term. So I'm gonna write zero x cubed because if I don't write that, I screw up the pattern every time. Uh, so I always just include everything, including things with a coefficient of zero. The fourth derivative we already found, so plus or plus negative six or just minus six over four factorial, and then x minus zero to the fourth. Now we can just leave this and move on. And I actually think that's a really good idea. And I would personally do that actually with these. Uh, but if you wanna clean it up, it cleans up to two plus three x minus x squared minus one fourth x to the fourth. All right, that's part A. Let's take a look at part B. The fourth degree polynomial for f about x equals zero is used to approximate f of 0.1. Given that the absolute value of the fifth derivative is less than or equal to 15 between zero and 0.5, use the Lagrange error bound to show that this approximation is within one over 10 to the fifth of the exact value. All right, so. The absolute value of our error is what we're looking for here. We know that that's gonna be less than or equal to m, which is the maximum of the absolute value of the n plus first derivative on the interval from zero to 0 0.1. So it's the absolute maximum, the maximum of the absolute value of the fifth derivative, uh, which we're given is 15. So we're just gonna use 15 for m. Um, and then it's the absolute times the absolute value of what we plugged in minus the center to the fifth because we're using the fourth degree polynomial so we need the fifth derivative to the fifth power and over five factorial you should really memorize the lagrange error bound um, it's not that complicated figuring out m maybe is the hardest part i have lots of videos on that definitely check those out if you're still a little confused um, so we have this we just need to show that this is less than one over 10 to the fifth which is super annoying um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simplify uh, this 15 is three times five. Five factorial is five times four times three times two times one. The three and the five cancel, you just get four times two. So it's really just one eighth times uh, one tenth to the fifth. One eighth times one tenth to the fifth is definitely smaller than one over 10 to the fifth. And because of that, we have shown what needed to be shown. So we are, I think, done with that part. Hopefully that's all, I think that's all satisfactory. All right, let's take a look at the next part. Let g be the function such that g of zero is four and g prime of x is e to the x f of x. Write the second degree Taylor polynomial for g about x equals zero. 
Okay, so to do that, we're going to need to know uh, g of 0, which is given, g prime of 0, which we can find, and g double prime, which we'll have to work out. Uh, and then we'll just use our formula. So uh, g prime of 0 is going to be e to the 0 times f of 0, which is going to be uh, 1, which is e to the 0, times f of 0 is 2, so 1 times 2, or 2. g double prime, we're going to be using the product rule first, derivative of the second, plus second, derivative of the first. We need to evaluate this at zero. So g double prime of zero will be e to the zero, f prime of zero, plus f of zero times e to the zero. All the e to the zeros go away. So that's f prime of zero, which is three, um, plus f of zero, which is two. So three plus two, which is five. Um, and now we can just write our polynomial, right? So uh, g of x is going to be approximately, it's the value of the function, so that's 4, and then plus the first derivative, which is 2, over 1 factorial, and x minus 0 to the first, plus the second derivative, which is 5, over 2 factorial, and x minus 0 to the second, uh, and that's it. And we can leave it like this, which I definitely would. If you like to simplify these, I believe that you will get 4 plus 2x plus 5 over 2x squared, but again, you could just leave it. Uh, that's it. This was a pretty reasonable uh, series question, I think. I hope this was helpful, and good luck.